Hey guys, welcome to the channel. And in this video, we are going to write API endpoints for email authentication in Django REST framework. So let's get started. So first of all, we have to create a virtual environment. So we can create a virtual environment by typing this command. So you can see I'm using this VENV for creating virtual environment. You can also use pip env or virtual env. And now we can see our environment created. We can activate it by typing this command. So now our environment is activated. We can check the installed modules by typing pip freeze. And right now we don't have any modules installed. We can install them by typing pip install. And we want to install Django. Django REST framework, uh, Django REST auth and Django auth. So now we have to wait for this to successfully install the packages. And uh, we can ignore these errors uh, because finally it will be installing these packages. Let's check. And yeah, it says successfully install these. So now if we again type pip freeze. Now our modules are installed here. So now we can create our project by saying Django admin start project. Let's name it API. You can see here uh, our API project is created. Uh, right now it is just a Django project. We can configure it for Django REST framework. So let's um, let's open settings.py and now we can go to we can go to the documentation and let's configure it. So you have to go to this uh, website which is Django REST framework.org. It is the official documentation of Django REST framework. So the first thing we have to do is we have to install this REST framework to our installed apps. Now we can add these uh, these configurations. And now we have to configure it for uh, Django Restaurant. And we have to go to this installation guide. We already have installed this. Now we can add we can add them to path. And uh, yeah, we also want registration. So we will add them to the installed app apps also. So we have this all auth, then a rest auth, and we also have to add the site ID. Now we can add these URLs, and for them, we will have to import this include because we are going to use it here. Let's change this URL to path. Also this, we don't need this thing. Let's just say auth. And now these are configured. And for formatting, we can use these, but for now we are not using. Yeah. And also we have to install, we have to add this all auth social auth, social accounts. If we don't add this, we can, uh, we can get an error. So for safety, we can add this. And it seems to be fine. Let's uh, let's say where we are. So we have to go to first API. Then we can say Python managed by run server. And it is saying 26 unapplied migrations. And the server is running at this path. So we can go to 
we can go to here and we can see it is running and if we go to the admin panel because we don't have it we haven't applied the migrations yet so we can apply them so we can apply them by typing python manage.py migrate and now the migrations are successful and we can say we can create a super user let's name it root let's say user at mail.com let's give it a password and yeah we want to use the short password and this created now so we can run the server again and if we refresh this now we can see and we can also log in here so now let's open postman and let's uh, test the api so let's first check um, let's check can we log in so HTTP 127.0.0.1 and also we have to add this and port 8000 this is the route and we have to give it the form data which is email and the email was user at mail.com and the password which was pass one two three if we send the request we can see the username was required and but uh, for but we want it to be email authentication and we have to change the settings a bit by default by default django rest framework uses uh, uses username for the authentication so we have to change it so we can go to django all auth uh, we can go to the installation guide and first of all we have to add authentication backend so we can add them here and we have to configure it so there are a lot of configurations here you can use them and they are um, they are really awesome but for now we are going to use a few of them so we want this to be email and we have account email required by default it was false and we have to change it to true and we have to also configure one more thing which was account username required which was by default true and we want to change it to false and now this time we should be able to log in with the the email let's send it and now we can see we have our key here so with this key this is our token with this token we can uh, we can access the prevented routes so now the the login is working we can work with the registration yeah so Let's clear the cookies. And let's send the form data. So to register, we have to send email. Let's say user at gmail.com. Let's say password. And we also have to send password one, which is let's use the same password pass123 password2 two is 123 and says password1 is too short this time we cannot use it because we are sending the request from api so we have to use a strong password let's say paytm12345 and same here if we send the request we can see here is an error saying connection refused so 
uh, we are getting this error because uh, because we haven't added emails to our um, backend because um, when the user when any user registered to our site then the django will send a confirmation email to the user so we haven't added any smtp so that's why we are getting this error so to get rid of this we can we can search for django all out and email backend so here's a frequently asked question and it says when i sign up i run into connectivity errors and this is the same with, uh, with what is happening with us so we can just copy it and we can add it to our settings.py now this time if we send the request again it says that a user with the email already registered because what happened was the user was created the account was created but the email was not sent so we first have to we first have to delete the user so if we go to users we actually have the user here we can delete it now if we send a request again now the account has been created and we have the token here 